everyone so I'm doing a walkabout today along the yard and I do this every day and I like to go around and evaluate all of my trees all of my plants you know see what's going on see if there's any problems anything that needs my attention and um, treat it if it does um, and really keep an eye on things uh, one thing you need to really keep an eye on is your stone fruits and your apples and your pears there's a lot of things that can affect them here in the Northeast or the Mid-Atlantic. Uh, humid climates can really breed lots of disease and they're quite prevalent in this area. One of the more prevalent diseases that you'll find on peach trees is bacterial canker. And you can see right there is some brown yellowish sap that will ooze out from the tree. And usually it will continuously ooze if it really becomes a problem. Um, so what I like to do is if I think it's bacterial canker, right, I need to evaluate my tree first. I don't want to jump to any conclusions, so I like to also check the trunk, and you can see there's another spot down in here. You know, we want to be checking for borers because borers can also cause the same kind of injury. You know, they can bore into, these insects can bore into the trunks or the limbs of your trees and really cause a whole host of problems and even kill the tree. So it's important to be on the lookout for this kind of thing. Um, you know, it's also important to be on the lookout for any source of injury because even just your peach trees getting injured in the form of this case right here, that's why this sap has formed. So I don't think this is canker at all. Um, you know, I've specifically chosen disease resistant varieties um, because canker is definitely a prevalent disease in this area. It is a prevalent disease in most of the eastern United States. But you can see right in here, guys, here's another injury. I'll give you another example. Sorry, I'm trying to get closer without stepping on things. But you can see right in here, guys, here is a limb that goes horizontally. Uh, this horizontal limb is supposed to be one of the arms of my S by A, right? It's a three-tiered system and this arm is making contact with the limb behind it, rubbing up against it and injuring the limb behind it. And because of that, you can see that there's that sap, right? On the other side of that limb, again, we have this wire that these horizontal limbs are attached to rubbing up against this tree, causing all kinds of problems, causing the tree to uh, heal over with some sap. And that's really what's been going on with my trees. So, you know, there is, there is a bit of a lesson here. No, I don't have canker, but yes, I should be inspecting my trees, evaluating them because I do want to keep an eye on this, right? I could, I guess, prune this out right now as a form of summer pruning but this is quite a large limb to be taken out of your tree so I could let this fruit I guess you know the Alberta peaches should ripen pretty soon and I could take that whole limb out and then completely avoid the situation or I could wait until the winter time so you know I don't think there's any risk of canker yet I haven't seen it but um, you know it's just something you guys need to be aware of when you're growing things that just need more attention here in the Northeast you know not everything is as simple as it sounds you know we have all kinds of rot on my grapes this year you can see that even after me taking measures of increasing the airflow and the sunlight to these grapes there's still some grapes with rot on them and this is just kind of what happens guys when you have an organic for the most part an organic orchard you don't spray you know this is the kind of thing that can happen so it's important really the lesson here is just to keep an eye on your trees do constant walkabouts constantly be inspecting them closely not just from afar but you really need to get up close and personal with your trees to examine what is going on and hopefully if you have enough experience over time you can properly identify something between canker and just a mere injury in your tree so 
I hope everyone learned something with this video. I hope you guys um, feel a bit, a, a little bit uh, more cautious and a little bit more aware. So anyway, guys, I hope that I'll, I'll leave you with that, and I'll see you all for the next one. You can follow me on Facebook. You can follow me on Instagram now, and you can follow me on Twitter. So if you guys want to see more content from me, um, I've opened those pages now for everybody else to, to see. And um, I'll be posting a lot of content there. I already do post quite a bit of content on Facebook that's quite different from the usual video. So anyway, guys, I'll talk to you all later, and I'll see you for the next one. Take care.